There's three chicks watching. <laughs> I get tired of the chick jokes. Oh, come on. <laughs> Be a good sport. Want the clock out. Yeah, really. Clocking good time. <laughs> I'm surprised All my mom right. didn't wash my mouth out with soap yeah. for that one. Oh, well. Well, we got a couple people watching. Mm -hmm. If you guys are on, give us a like or a love and let us know yeah. that you're there. Sign in, please. Yes, like to sign tell in. the truth. Yes. That's an old movie. Oh, yeah. They might not get that one. Oh, it's Jean. Hi, Jean. Show me what, what to, to do, do with, with all these chickens. <laughs> we certainly we will. We will do it, Jean. Yes. <laughs> That's hilarious. So hey, Anne, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Oh. Leave us some comments. We love to know who's. Who's watching with us? Mm -hmm. We but, see nine people, but we only see two comments. Come on, ladies. Uh, Who's out there? There might or be a rooster out there watching. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. I better stop. I there. know. <laughs> the chicken jokes are out of control yeah, over they here, are. girls. They so are. And they could get worse. <laughs> they could get worse. Ready? Yeah, we're good. All right, here we go. Show some faces. Yay. Hi, everybody. Hey, guys. Here Welcome we are. Welcome to our Wednesday chick, Hey Chick extravaganza. Yes. So we are super excited to share. We have two bundles to share with you tonight. The Hey Chick and the Hey Birthday Chick. So um, I'm going to... Should we show them? Oh, yes. Please do. Okay. This is the first one. Or no, this is the one I... No, that's yours. That's me. Yep. I'm the birthday chick. Yep, you're the birthday chick. Now, see, that does look better on there. It does. We look like we're No, we don't look like we're ghosts. Casper's second yes. cousins. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the one bundle. This is the Hey Birthday Chick bundle. So cute. And this is the one that Dory is going to be... Um, hi, Diane. Is going to be um, sharing three projects using this one super cute i just love this one and i mine's the same but they have some really great die cuts that don't just cut out the stamped images right like i have the little fence the little happy birthday yeah um and there's a banner and, and the a little, little bow and the little sack of, oh the little of, sack of yeah. flat, uh no seed 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 yes. or um Oh, for heaven's sakes, feed. Feed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's, we're like an hour I earlier know. and we sound like we're, we're going at like 10 p.m. And this one is the one I will be sharing after Dory. This is the Hey Chick. This one might look familiar to some of you ladies that have been around for a while. This was a celebration stamp set maybe two years ago i believe so 2017 yeah. oh so gosh that's oh, wow. more five years ago yeah you know Yikes. Well. <laughs> time flies and this one has now has the dies with it and this one also has some super super cute die cuts the the corn stalks so oh, cute. yeah they're adorable the chicken wire the little sign the chicken coop just amazing that's amazing awesome. the little corns the little corns they're tiny yes. little corns that yes. i can put on there so um we are showing you all of these because if you order them um if you order the birthday bundle you will get my three card kits for free um and then if you order the hey chick bundle um, you would get those three cards yeah, for free as well. For um, yeah, the Hey Chick is 44 and that's the stamp sets and the dies. And the Hey Birthday Chick is 43 and that is um, the set and the dies as well. So yeah. just can... throw in a pack of paper and oh, yeah. some you're... adhesives. You're good to go. Then you get your freebie. Yes, your free celebration item. Mm -hmm. So that's super exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're gonna show you these. If you purchase both bundles, then you get all six projects for free. So yes. um, you can just let us know, and um, we will be happy to get those to go kits ready for you. Mm -hmm. But we're here to share some great ideas with you mm -hmm. this evening. Yeah. So and please make sure you comment during it. Ask us any questions. We'll try to answer them as best we can as we are doing our demonstrations this evening thanks so much for joining us and we're gonna have a clucking good time oh -hoo -hoo. But, um, that's um, one of dory's that's what i mine. stole right, right from now, her stole it right from the farm <laughs> right from, all right are you ready Should i'm we ready show? yeah all right here are dory's three samples for this evening 
Go ahead if you want to start. Right. I don't need yep. to talk for you, girly. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, no, I have you plenty, of, a, plenty yes. of words to share. You do fine on your own. So um, I'm going to show you up close and personal. Maybe. This is the stamp set. There's, like, dyes falling out of the bottom of it. Let me let me get it. So you have one, two, three, four chicks and a little bit of confetti. Best of clock. Let's celebrate you. You're still a spring chicken and happy birthday. So they are super cute um, and you could use them for lots of different um, different things, okay? So we are going to start with, um, I'm gonna show you this one too. This is the one I did on my Facebook Live earlier today. So you can combine the chickens and um, you know, <laughs> combine, the chickens. combine the chickens, the little guy. Sounds and, like you're making a dish. I know, something. well, hopefully no one had chicken for dinner tonight, <laughs> but I don't know. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I am going to start with this one here. You're still a spring chicken. Um, and this one is kind of, it's quick and easy. I'll show you. That's the Oso Ombre, ombre, ombre paper. paper. Yeah. And that's one of the things oh, that you, you can get for get free. That. So, so if useful. you, um, oh, Rise, thank you so much for sharing. We greatly appreciate those of you who like, love, and share. Um, I know, look, cool. The lights, it's the light. Um, so I'm starting with the Oso Ombre paper. So you have the Rococo Rose on one side, you have the Bermuda Bay on the other. And this is one of the fabulous celebration items that you can get for free with your $50 order. And that is before tax and shipping. Um, wait, before I do anything crazy, I'm going to stamp on the top. Anything, anything too wild and crazy. <laughs> Us crazy stampers over I know. Here. So I'm going to stamp right there on the top. You're still a spring chicken. And it's great because you have the ombre, so it's nice and light. And you can see what you're doing. Um, and one of the other exciting things is I used one stamp set for all my projects. And that was Memento. And that was it. So um, if you need a Memento ink pad, you can add that to your um, one of your bundles. And that'll get you a freebie too. So we're here to Excellent help you. Excellent idea. Bundle and save and bundle earn. And save. So here I'm just putting, this is a two and three quarter inch strip. Um, and I'm going to put it just on a piece of basic black that is um, three inches wide. And then that just goes right on the front of your card. Okay, so you could make this in different colors. I chose the Bermuda Bay. Oh, excuse me. I am over 14. Um, my boy, no, my voice is cracking. Yeah. I said, excuse me. I, yeah, I am a little bit over the that stage in my life. Hello Rhonda. Hi Deb. Yes, we love the ombre paper as well. All right. So Gotten we, myself a few packs. How about you, Dory? The, oh, maybe a couple. <laughs> so we have You're Still a Spring Chicken and I've already cut these, this cute little chick out. Okay. And uh, so I decided she's kind of flying, you know, sideways. That's kind of how I fly these days. Um, so. No, it's just, not sideways. It's just a little windy. Yeah, it's windy. Yep. And so one of the cute little things that comes in the set is the oh. little fence die. So I cut out two little fences and I'm going to use this. Okay. Tom. That's a brand new one. So oh, be careful. look out. Tom is going to be, well, so anyway. Yep. You're right. He's brand new. Yep. He's not all clogged yet. No, <laughs> Give no. me a day or two. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take my little fence and I wanted it to look like she's kind of flying above the, you know, above the pasture, the, the, pasture, the barnyard. Yes. So I put my little fence there and then I came back in and I'm just going to kind of um, finish it off. Finish it off. Yep. And so I'm going to take my scissors, my reed scissors, mm -hmm, the best kind, the best kind. And then I'm just going to add my other little fence row right there. So you will get two little fences <gasps> in your kit. So exciting. Yep. And if you want to take your fence all across your card, so be it, ladies. Yes, but it's your card. It's your you card. You. you fence wherever you like. <laughs> I remember putting in fence with my dad and it was uh. not this easy. Oh my gosh, we had post hole diggers and all kinds uh. of stuff. This is so much nicer yes. than digging in the Blisters, hard ground. I bet in your oh, hands. Yeah, Bad maybe news. a few stamping swears before oh, I absolutely. You know. You can't do it without swearing. Well, my dad didn't know about that, but anyway. So, okay, he probably does now because my mom's going to tell him. <laughs> All right, so this is the chicken, the little chick. And then what I did 
is you will get in your packet if you so choose. I um, had I cut out two additional balloons, so I just stamped them. Those that's her and little tail feathers. Yeah, her butt her butt feathers. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm just oh no, I said butt. Um, oh, anyway, but we're gonna be. Banned. I know it's gonna be bad. It's gonna, gonna be, be banned. Bad. Okay, so I'm using <laughs> because I stamped with my Memento ink. Okay, mm -hmm. we can color with our Stampin' Blends. So I'm gonna use three of my favorite colors, and that would be Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay, and Magenta Madness. And so I'm gonna start with my, um, the balloon that's actually attached to the chick. And I'm just, I'm not really doing any shading tonight. So um, if you were, you know, coming to watch a, um, yeah. Blending class, this is not it. No shading, um, but she is a little shady. I am shady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I sure am. So, um, all right. So we have that. And then we're going to come back. You guys um, can color these whatever color you want. Mm -hmm. But this, these are the bright colors that I chose for the evening. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. Love it. And you are going to get your bundles. So you will be able to do all of this cool stuff yeah, with yours. Decide what color balloons you want to make. Yep. That magenta madness is a great color. It is. Wow. It's so bright and cheery. I know I'm busted. Think, See, I told you. You look. think melon mambo is bright and cheery? Oh no. Oh. And yeah. that's even the dark magenta madness right there. Yeah. It's like that. That is like a fluorescent yeah. color. It's almost. like Malibu Barbie's lipstick is what that's like. <laughs> so it is. Malibu Barbie. Uh huh. I remember she her. Was. She was in Toy Story too. She was. She did she have that lipstick. bright lipstick on yep. too. All right. So let me show you. Not my color. Oh my gosh, not my color either. Holy, <laughs> holy Malibu Barbie. No, thank you. Um, so I'm going to color in my um, chick real quick. <laughs> I like that. Color in my chick, chick real, real quick. quick. Chick <laughs> real quick. Chick yep. real quick. And I'm using, these are our blends. I'm just using the kind of the pen side or the marker side instead of the brush side. So I did the feet and the beak. Okay. And then last but not least, you have to do the body. And so I'm going to take and just color. I kind of just went over her a little bit, um, the little little pieces. And they're like little little M's, little mountainous M's. Mountainous M's. And so I just went over and kind of did like a little dab. Um, if you know, if that doesn't suit you, you can color the whole thing in. But I kind of wanted to give it a little bit of texture. So, um, you know, chickens are all about texture. <laughs> I don't know. It sounded good, right? They think about that they every think, day, I'm sure. They do. They are my feathers showing texture? I know. Texture? They're like, do my feathers look good? <laughs> they ask the rooster. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Yep. We're, gonna We're going put... off the rails. Oh, we always go off the rails. Mm -hmm. Oh, holy. These dimensionals. There we taking go. Taking off the back. They're too. taking off Ick. the back, too. How rude. Um, okay, so I have three dimensionals, and I'm going to put my chick that is blowing in the wind. And then she's I'm trying her best to stay upright. She is just swinging back and forth. All right, so then I'm gonna just tuck that one right underneath of there. See how that goes. And then, last but not least, we have the Bermuda. I can hardly say that. Bermuda Bay Balloon. Bermuda Bay. Bermuda Bay Balloon. Bay Balloon. And I'm going to tuck that over here on the side. And it, oh no, I'm not. I lied. Watch this. <laughs> off camera, doing a little trimming. Yes. And so I had to take some tail feathers off there. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, the only thing is you have to see where the spring chicken is. Okay. That's so cute. But there she day. is. You're still a spring chicken. And we're not done yet because... We don't have any embellishments on this card. And you guys know how that I feel about that, a right? Crime. Yeah. Okay, so. A crime against so card makery. Card makery. So we do them in card sets of what? Three. Three is oh, I'm or, giving answers. Well, that's okay. Or odd numbers. Mm -hmm. Always do odd numbers because it's more pleasing to the eye. You're like, okay, whatever, Dory. But seriously, that's what they say. So they kind of, you know, just a little bit of fun there. I love and that. I love these. These are the opal rounds, um, and they come in the um, seashell, sand and sea set, or sweet. But um, they're awesome, and you can add them to any chicken yes. card anywhere. 
Any so. card. I've used those for lots of different yep. cards. Not related to sand and sea. Right. So there. Hi, Lisa. There welcome. Is one of your cards for this mm, evening. So cute. Okay. Number one in the paid birthday chick card kit. Yes. Okay, so number two, bum, ba -dum. I love this girl. She, like, I, you know, this is what I look Puts like when I, face in well, that this cupcake. is what my hair looks like when I get up in the morning. So <laughs> I just, I can relate to her. Um, yeah, she and I are kindred spirits. So. But you also eat cupcakes like that. Uh, yeah, not really, but okay. Gluten-free cupcakes you if do. If they're gluten-free, I will, yeah. I'll yep. stick my face right in there. Or red lip candy gummies oh my gosh those are amazing <laughs> yeah you were like i was chowing on those the other night sorry about that they're so, good though they were oh, great you're not i can get more if you're not i can go to target and get more yes they tried to hide them they're on like a lower shelf yeah they saw you coming i know they're like here comes the lip lady look out <laughs> <laughs> all right back to the cards here we go so we are starting with the Magenta Madness. There it is, that bright color. I know, I love you. this color. Me this too. is like one of my favorites. If I'm going to do a pink, I want it to Definitely be like a bright, bright the Barbie pink. Barbie lipstick. Barbie lipstick. Yes. Malibu Barbie pink. That is AKA definitely. AKA Magenta Madness. When you go down that aisle at Toys R Us, there it is right there. There it is. All right. Oh, so, Toys R Us is out of business. Yeah, I don't know where you've been. That was like 12 <laughs> years ago, but that's okay. We still love you. All right, so I'm using this. Designer series paper. Oh, that's from. Oh, can you Ooh, tell it? me? No, you tell me. Um, what's it called? It's a fun paper. It's in yeah. our um, uh, the annual annual catalog. I can't think of it. All right, so we're gonna use that magenta madness ribbon, and we're gonna do a faux. Okay, you guys ready? So bow. Faux. So I'm gonna turn this over. And I'm going to just put my ribbon right there on the one side. Can you remind me? Can I remind you? Which one? With the Playful. papers from? Playful patterns. Yep. And there I even go. have a bunch of that. I know. Playful patterns. Playful patterns. There we go. That one is in the annual catalog. It is. It was part of our first paper share that we did this year. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that just like that. That's so fun. And I like the pop of white in between. So you could put the designer series paper right on there, but I really like the white. I think it um, is a nice um, kind of a frame and it brings out the, the color a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next we're going to do our stamping first because we have a circle and there's two sides to every circle, just like there are two sides to every card stack. Just in case we make just a little Just in case. Yep. So let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Dory is going to do a little stamping and let's see what's going to happen. Uh -oh. Yeah, I know. You can do it. Let's see if I can. It's not. It's Everybody not give hard. her encouragement. Yep. So I'm going to just do happy Stamper's birthday. Stamper's got to stick together. Yay. Did a little happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, I don't know where the heck my chip went. Oh dear. Well. I'm missing my chick. I'm missing my chick. Did she fall on the floor? I don't see her. Worst case scenario, we have to cut one out. I mean, yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Let me keep looking. Yeah. Hopefully she's in there. She's right here. Is she in there? Oh, there she is. Whew. That was a close one. Those little so, things always I like know. to hide. So here she is. This is Dory in the morning. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I am going to, again, because I used my memento, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color her in. Um, and I use the light daffodil and she got her whole body covered in colored covered covered colored whatever goodness gracious <laughs> and then I went and I did like her hair is kind of like Medusa hair so I went and gave her like one of those cool hairstyles where I, I added a little bit of pink to it too yeah, I just said pink that would be too. magenta madness yes All right I did the old streaks too on her. Yeah. Got a, oh, her cupcake liner. Mm -hmm. Got to cover that in. If you wanted to give her a chocolate cupcake, you could, but you know what? I don't know about you, but I only eat cupcakes to coordinate with my hair. So, yeah. um, and I'm not sure the chickens like chocolate cupcakes. Oh, there's probably, yeah, it's probably not good for them. Like, you know, <laughs> chocolate's not good for dogs and stuff like that. It's probably not good for chickens. So I'm just giving her some, you know, cool chick hair here. Um, and then I'm going to color in the top of her 
little cupcake, just like so. And then the poor gal, she needs her beak and her legs colored in. So I'm gonna bring in pumpkin pie and her little beak there. And then her little, these are like big bird legs. Her legs, just like so. All right, she is so stinking cute. Poor kid, I forgot to color in her face. So hold on one second. <laughs> Gotta give her some foundation there. There we go. Really? All right. So we have our birthday chick and you could stamp her right on there if you wanted, but I think it looks nice when you um, raise it up a little bit and you can do that. I thought of a song, but I won't. Sing. Please don't. I, I can only imagine what it's gonna well, be. Well, you said raise me up. Okay, yeah, let's not, let's not. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead Josh and put. Josh Groban? Yeah, no, we're not doing Josh Groban. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna put this on top. I just love the colors. And then this is gonna go on, of course, with dimensionals. Yeah. And you just wanna um, put the, leave a strip kind of in the middle where you do not have dimensionals. That's where your ribbon is going to go through. You're gonna um, straddle it, straddle it. Yeah, we're gonna straddle it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're really going down that road, aren't we? Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna do the happy birthday right there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna add my little, the nice thing with the Stampin' Seal Plus is it does stick to your ribbon. Um, so I just put my little bow there on the side. And then, of course, these are a great thing to add to your bundle because you could put these on every single card that you make. But I love these oval rounds. And I like how they have the kind of the sparkle or the little confetti um, in them. And see what I'm doing. You guys are you guys are watching. Groups of three. I'm gonna put this one out here. And they're neutral enough that you could put them on any color. Yeah. Like they would look just as great on a blue card or. Yep. So there she yeah. is. There's our our birthday chick. Our birthday chick. Yeah. Looking good, eating her cupcake. Yes, she's super excited. So, mm. and then of course you would stamp her on the outside of your envelope too, because you can have no naked envelopes. Yes. That is that is terrible. So, all right, little segue here before I do my last card. This is one that um, I made earlier today. <laughs> it just kind of popped into my head. And um, yeah, that's how my brain works. Um, this is actually the strawberry you paper. In the shower? I was not in the shower. Oh. Um, nor was I on the toilet. Those oh. are like my two thinking yes. spots. Yeah. Um, so um, there is the strawberry paper. Here are some of the little enamel hearts. Um, and then the balloon, I just took one of the, the hearts from our, um, oh, it's, it's one of, I can't think of it. It's one of the new, new sets, new bundles. Um, but then, and the little bow, look at the little bow in her hair. And then the love you is one, uh, is the hostess set from the idea book and catalog. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of good stuff going on there, but I think that is so adorable. So for chicken lovers everywhere, yes. um, it make a perfect Valentine's day or just a, you know, a just because card too. So there's that one. All right. <laughs> TMI. Oh no, Rise. That's where we think. <laughs> Sorry, had to share that. It's our best places. I know. It's quiet. And Barb was always like, I was like, I have an idea. <laughs> She's like, were you on the toilet? I'm like, no, I actually wasn't. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Sorry. Sorry for sharing. Uh -huh. Anyway. All right, guys. This is the last one. This one for is the birthday one. bundle. For the birthday bundle. But um, um, I have like all my, I think I have stuff everywhere. That's all right. Yeah. All right. Let's try to, let's try to clean it up here, ladies. All right. So... I'm bringing back the chick that I used earlier. This is the fun little happy birthday. Such a cute die. Fun, it is. So and you happy. Can put that right in the center Cheerful. of the card. Um, I did that earlier today. So when I did, made this card, we put the happy birthday on the inside. Really so you don't cute. have to stamp. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So this one starts out as a normal card. <laughs> um, it starts out as four and a quarter by 11. And then you cut three and a quarter inches off from the one side. And that leaves you with this piece. And then um, we're going to make a little. Um, oh, good. I'm glad someone else has a lot of those same thinking places, too, because, you know. Got to find a place that's quiet. That's right. And you're not disturbed. Yeah, where people are like, mom, 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 mom. <laughs> Like, shh, I'm thinking in here. <laughs> so, all right, so let's start off. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. This is the strawberry paper from the from Celebration, and I'm gonna start by adding this first. So, um, so you can see the strawberry paper, and we are going to another add, freebie. I know that's the $100 mark freebie. So if you got both bundles and added a couple couple things, you could get the strawberry get the paper strawberry and paper and the stamp set. Oh, just overwhelming the possibilities. I know it's amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, so here's my other little piece, and we are going to put our little layer on there, little layer on there. All right, so we have that, and I'll show you how I did mine. It doesn't mean it's right, <laughs> but this is how I chose to do mine, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to color this once I get it on here, um, but I'm going to put my dimensionals on my little chick and you wanna put one at the top where the balloon is, and then you wanna put the other two at the bottom, okay? Where her feet are. And the reason for that, as you will see, is that is what is going to hold your this piece together, okay? So this gal goes right there. She's got a big responsibility. She does, she has a huge responsibility. <laughs> Okay, so then I'm gonna flip it open. Stay here and hold the card together. And then I'm gonna put um, my window sheet on the inside here, okay? So the nice thing is our Stamp and Seal Plus goes right on the window sheet. Because others will slip. Others will slip inside. But not this one. Not this one, mm -hmm. that's right. And so this um, is five and a quarter by four. And you just put that right on oh there. My goodness. And then it's you can see so cute through. Okay, so your little window sheet is right there, mm -hmm. and then it helps anchor this this chiquita over here as well too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and you can't really see it on the inside. It's not like the big white you know white glue or anything like that. So I am okay with that. If you wanted to put you know another piece over top, you could do that. But um, nope. So I'm gonna take my piece of whisper white. That's gonna go on the inside, and this will help you see a little bit better. Okay, so you can see your little panel there. So your happy birthday is gonna go on the inside. So it's gonna go right there on the inside, and I'm gonna use a little bit of Tombow. Just a little. Just a little, because he's it's brand full. new, and he wants to come out. He's very full. Full, yeah, full, full throttle there. Okay, got it right there, hopefully. I'm going to tack it down, make sure. Yep, perfect. And then you can kind of just press it down. So there's your happy birthday. Okay. And then um, you're going to put your fence on. And that's better with Tombow too. You can put it on with the um, adhesive, but um, I'm going to just do it with this. And I brought my fence right to the top of my designer series paper. Okay, just like that. And then I took one more and put it over here on this side. You wouldn't have to, um, but I don't know. The barnyard just isn't quite the same without it. So um, I just added this one little piece right over there on the side. And you can, again, just use your Tombow and just kind of, you know, put it in right there. So it makes it look like, makes it, look like it goes all the way across. Okay, so there's the little white fence, and then there's the happiest chicken in the barnyard right here. This is the, I'm it's so stinking cute. It's so one of those, you know, you'd want to take home. And you just add. And that, that same chick is in the other set, but it's still in the, he's still in the egg. His legs are sticking yes, out, but the rest legs are is sticking still. out. He hasn't, he hasn't hatched yet in the Not other yet. set. And then when he heard it, there's a party come, going on. He's out. He's like, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just do a little bit of coloring. This one is pretty simple. Um, so I took my, um, not this color, <laughs> I took my um, pumpkin pie, and that's what I'm going to use, oops, excuse me, for the feet. And this one I just left the chicken completely white because we had the gingham red in the background. You have the red of the balloon. Um, a lot going on. You've got a lot going on. So, and they're white chickens. 
There are white chickens. Yep. You gotta represent every. Gotta represent. That's right. Yeah, that is right. So we are going to just color in the top. Okay. And then I'm gonna take and color in the little party hat. You can do whatever you want. But and the balloon, of course. This might I might love this card because I, I don't I know I've never mentioned this before, but red is my favorite color. One of my favorite red and black are my two favorite colors. Um, never so, said that. I'm sh I'm shocked to find you're that shocked out that red is my favorite color. <laughs> yeah. So there's the balloon, and then you have to do the little end piece there too. Do your little chicky dude. And then I have to color in the little chicky dude, and I'm gonna color that in. So cute. And his little hat. He needs a little bit more color in his hat. So let's go with, um, I don't know, something festive. We'll do the blue for me to bay. We'll just add a little dot of blue there. So he looks festive. But that is such a fun card mm -hmm. um, because you can, you know, you're. It's the cutest you're, design. Mm -hmm. It is. will be a wow for your recipient. For it sure. will, for sure. So you have that little window sheet in there. So it's like a peekaboo. You can peek inside and see what's going on in the barnyard. Mm -hmm. So that is my third card. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed those. Again, that is the Hey Birthday Chick Bundle. That one is new. Um, so you can order that one and get the card kit for free. And here's, I wanted to show you this too. This is the little feed sack that's in there. I didn't use that one. But I was going to put it in one of them, and it just didn't, I don't know, didn't look right to me. No. It also looks like Shrek's mask that he wears um, when he's welding or whatever it is he's doing. So, you know, Shrek's mask, whatever. So, yep. So, all right. Next is the Amazing Barbara Reed. Oh, very She's amazing. She's going to do the um, Hey Chick. Yes. This one is, my, oh, that's the one we just did. All right. Here is my... Um, bundle. This is just called Hey Chick. Not specific to a birthday, but you can certainly use it for birthday cards. Got all your stuff. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm getting in here. So first thing, I'm going to actually start us off with a 3D project today. Oh, that's so, a shocker. I know, I know, I know. All right, welcome back, and we will be doing three more projects using the Hey Chick bundle this time. Now, this is our first. This is a 3D box. I think this would be super cute to put little chocolate eggs in, mm -hmm. or they actually have gummy chicken feet. Oh, like the no. little chicken claws, no, you could ew. you could get the little gummy ones. <laughs> no, I'm going with the chocolate eggs. All right, we'll do I chocolate would, eggs. I would be honest, if somebody gave me a box that had gummy chicken feet in it, I would think that they didn't like me. Oh, but that's yeah. not true. That's well, not true. You could do worms, gummy yeah, worms. Gummy worms would be gummy good too. Would be good. Yeah. But it would be any kind of uh, chicken related uh, candy would be awesome. Yeah, you could put corn in there. Yep, yeah, candy corn. I yeah. love candy corn. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Very simple box to put together here, girls. All right, I'm gonna take a piece of crumb cake cardstock. This is cut at seven and three quarters by six and a half. All right, we're gonna go on the portrait side first. Oh, look at your big words. The I know. portrait side. And I'm, it's just because it's written here. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. didn't come up with that one. Yeah, and I'm gonna score on one inch on both sides. All right, then we're gonna go to the landscape side or the long side and we're going to do two and a half, three and a half, six, and seven. And that is it. All right, so you will receive this all scored and cut ready to assemble. Woo -hoo, I know it's exciting. Added bonus. Yes, added bonus. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my bone folder here and I'm going to start creasing all my score lines. So, thought I'd start off with a 3D and then work my way back. All right, so here we go. We've got all our lines. I'm sorry, our score lines 
creased. I'm going to come in with my scissors and we're going to start with it in landscape position. We are going to cut up all these little lines here. Let's see, I'm trying to think how I did this. I think I cut this off. It's been a while since I made this box. And then up here by the double rectangles, you're gonna cut off both of those. Okay, then we're gonna come off back here. And then we're gonna have the tabs right there. Alrighty, so this is gonna fold together like this and then you're gonna have your piece that goes, you can either have it come across the front or it can go into the box. But before we put it together, you're gonna grab your piece of designer series paper here and you're going to ad um, adhere that to your box. And it's exactly the same length as your box. So you're just gonna go ahead and grab some Tombow. It's always nice to go back into the idea book. The main catalog, we can get some DSP mm -hmm. from there, too. This is from the uh, Ferns? Forever Ferns? Forever Fernery. Forever Ferns. Did you say Fernery? Fernery. <laughs> I thought it was something like that. Oh, okay. All right. So there we go. We have that adhered and stuck right to the center. And then you got to go back and you've got to rescore those lines a little bit to there we go all right now we're going to go ahead and do some quick quick gluing we're going to fold in those tabs I'm going to grab my Tombow and put some on there and then I'm going to put some on these front outside panels and watch how quick this goes together people's all right, so you're gonna go ahead and you're going to fold the tab in and line up the edge of the longer panel to the fold of the tab and hold it. Hold, please. Hold it and hold it. Hold it. And then the same on the other side. And hold it. It's like you're getting your picture taken. Hold it. Mm -hmm. Hold your breath. Okay, now you see we have our glue there. We're gonna fold the flap down and just put those two pieces right on top of the other two panels there. And that closes up your box that quickly. There we go. And then you can fold that, oh dear. My piece undid. <laughs> My piece of did. I know. You didn't hold it and fold it. I know. It's like there we go. It and forget it. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We're off the rails. Okay, so there we go. It folds over right that like tap to the front, or you can stick it right inside. Whichever way. I think I stuck mine inside, so I really should probably <clears throat> take off the corners a bit. And then we can tuck. We're going to bevel those edges. Bevel, bevel. Bevel, I love that word. All right, there we go. Okay, so our box is finished, even with all my shenanigans. And now we're going to bring in some stamps. Ooh, I love stamps. I do too. They're pretty fun. I love stamps. We're going to stamp. I'm not sure the breed of chicken, do you know? Or your mom, I bet, would know. What? Which is this? This really fat one. What kind of chicken is that? That's a white chicken. It's a white chicken. That's what I thought. That is the special scientific name. Now, what I found with this chicken, I used a color that you wouldn't think you would use. This is the ivory. And I think this was originally intended to help with, like, um, complexion when you're making, you know, people or whatever. But I found... It's so funny. I don't know. It just sounds funny when you say making, you're people. making people. <laughs> we know how that happens. And then I'm just going to go around and I just kind of do a little line around the outside of my chicken. And then I come back and I kind of go over all the cute little wiggles, the, wiggles. the, the textures on his feathers. And then I go around his little 
up around his well, yours head. Yours is a his. It is a his? I don't know. You're just saying it's a his. Oh, I don't know. I always make him. His and hers. Yeah. And then what I do, I bring in my color lifter. Oh. And this kind of makes the line between the, I'm going to use the, this side, makes the line between the color that you just put on and the white a little less um, stark. And it kind of blends it in towards the middle so you have a little bit more of a shading rather than that line around the outside. Love it. See? Look at that. And then you can kind of go over the little feathery spots as well. And that's all you have to do for him. Then you grab your little poppy parade. He's gonna have a very, very bright little Google thing. What's that thing called that's underneath his head? Right here. The waddle? The waddle. Yeah, I, uh, I do the, that sometimes. The I Google. Waddle. <laughs> I thought it was the Googler. No, the comb. Oh. A waddle and a comb. Okay, waddle and a comb. Waddle and a comb. Yep, and then I took a little bit of um, what? dark crumb cake for his beak. And there he is. And then through the magic of television, I cut him out using the die, the coordinating die. Magic of television. I know. I also cut out in um, early espresso the little chicken wire. Isn't that so cute? I can't get over that. This one is available in this set. This is one of the kind of additional um, dies you get. Those are the best when you get those yeah. add-ons. But, but what, what else would you need? I mean, that's an obvious one you would need. It would be chicken wire. Of course. Because you've got a chicken. That's right. You need yeah. some wire to keep that chicken. Yeah, because I, I actually went over to someone's house one time, mm -hmm. and all their chickens were running around the house, the mm -hmm. um, yard. Yeah. Can you imagine that? I can't. Oh, their chicken wire was not working. <laughs> Then I'm going to go ahead and just very gently adhere that right to my box on the side there. Then I'm going to grab, oh, it's a hen. Thank you, Linda. I would not have known that. It's a hen, so I should be calling it a her. Okay, I'll try. Okay. I'll work on that. You can make your chicken. It's, you know what, it's a paper chicken. You can make well, it maybe, whatever you maybe, want. Well, maybe, maybe, yes. And you know, with genders now, and again, they don't really know what they are, so they might be. Okay. <laughs> keep stamping. Okay, keep stamping. All right, so there is the first portion. Then I'm going to grab this strip of paper, and the reason I made it so long is so I can take a chance and maybe make a mistake. I know you guys probably believe Barbary does not stamp mistakes. I know, it's hard to believe. I do sometimes. So I'm going to I'm going to take this hay chick and I'm going to stamp it on my strip and try to get it close to the middle. I'm going to use that one. That one worked. All right. Okay. Then I'm going to cut it off right here. And that's going to be my cute little tag, but it wouldn't be a tag without a hole in it. So I'm going to grab my punch punch my tag. Now we're ready to do our ribbon. All right, let me see if I can find my ribbon. This is one that has been in my stash for quite a while. This is in the annual catalog. It's a brand new color, and I have every single one of those colors, but this is gorgeous. It's terracotta tile. I thought that matched so nicely. So it is a linen and terracotta tile color, and we're going to go ahead and tie that on our box. So let's see. I don't know. What are we thinking here? Can she do it? She can do it. Yes, she can. Oh, this is a tricky one because it's not colored on both sides. So it, you have to do a little bit of manipulating so that you have it colored on both sides. See if I can do it. I sure think I can. can. All right, yes, it's coming. It's coming. Yes. You have to kind of twist your ribbon so that you get the colorful bow on both sides because you only have the terracotta color on one side so you got to do a little bit of twisting and manipulating to get it the way you want all right so there we go and let me see if i can turn this one too oh, oh, oh. 
I bet you can. There we go. Now we have all color. There we did it. I am proud. Loud and proud. Loud and I am. Yes, that would be a good description. All right, I'm going to cut off my ends here. And now I'm going to put on my cute little tag. Going to grab some of my linen thread. And I'm just going to tie this around the bow in a knot. That's a, yeah, the linen thread and little twine are really cute ways to add. Yep, so I'm just going to grab, extra, extra go around time. the middle of my bow and just tie a knot using a little bit of twine. And then I'm going to cut off the ends real close so you won't even really notice where it was tied. But even if you do, because it's kind of a, um, a good accent for this kind of a card with the natural color on the thread. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut off my little pieces of twine. Ta-da! Isn't that super cute? So that is your first sample for the Hey Chick bundle. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and do some stamping with some cards. All right, let me put that back over there. All right, the next card, we're going to stick with the big fat lady chicken, and we're going to do a series of cute little chickens. All right, so I'm going to grab my mossy meadow. Love this color. I think it's a perfect match for this um, card and this chicken theme. I grab a piece of this designer series paper, which is from the Dandy Garden. That is available, oh, yep, in the annual catalog as well. Let's go ahead and put that on. This is a quickie card. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and stamp the three, car the three cards, the three chickens down the card. Now the way I did this, I stamped my middle chicken first. Now he will come stamped when you get him. Hope I'm getting him in the right spot. Oh, I'm gonna have to squeeze down. I'm turning him over. All right, I'm trying that one again. He was a little low. Maybe we'll, we'll not do it that way. We'll do high. Do. That worked better. I'm abandoning my first strategy. Going to high, low, then middle. Okay, then, like I did last time, we're going to do the coloring the same way. Who remembers which blend I used to do the outlining here? Let's see if anybody remembers. Or have they ivory? all fallen asleep? Is it ivory? It is. Oh, ivory is one of my favorite colors. Yeah. It gets, it's a great yeah. way to, because I really wanted to leave him white, you know, because yeah. they're they are pretty white but um if you just leave him white he just doesn't have a lot of oomph you know yeah so I just felt like outlining him with the pretty ivory color would set off his feathers a little bit and then he will have a little more dimension and I'm gonna go through and color all these little Wiggly swigglies of, that are on the side of the chicken. Last one. I'm using the bullet point just because I have better control and I can't really use the, I tried it with the um, brush tip, nope. Some people have a little better hand control with it. I really use the, the um, bullet point most of the time. All right, there they are. And then I'm going to grab my color lifter and quickly go over all my chickens around the edges. Now remember, you're gonna make your chickens whatever color you like. 
So you might be thinking to yourself, but Barb, I don't have ivory. Oh, there are so many options for coloring these cute guys. The light daffodil. Yeah. The light is really cute. You can even use the mango or the mm -hmm. um, oh, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is great for their feet, beets, yep. and things like that. So, yeah. so don't worry about that. If you've ever gone, if you've ever gone to like the, um, yeah, if you've ever gone to the farm show and look at the, all the different kinds of chickens there are, oh yeah, you could probably come up with, find a chicken, every color that you have of blend. So, oh, there's some amazing looking with the big head feathers. They're yeah. fun. So fun. The girls used to love to go to the farm show and check out all the wacky chickens. Yeah. All right, there is our piece, and that's going to go right on the left side of the card, right there. And then all we have left to do on this one is our little hay chick. And I already did a good job on the hay chick once. I don't know if I can make it a double, but I'm going to try. You can double it. Double it up. All right, let's see. I'm going to grab my half-inch slice here of... Crumb cake. It's a great way to use up some scraps. Too. Oh, yes. You always should keep the half inch slices around. Well, not always. I go through a, a throwaway frenzy sometimes. <laughs> of the neutrals and oh, whites, I try to yeah. keep these, but otherwise, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah sometimes yeah. it's like out of control. Oh, yeah. You just swipe it on the trash and move on. I'm going to try that one again. <laughs> Wasn't quite as good as the first. Was it an A plus? It was a B minus. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, that looks there much you go. better. There's your A. Yes, no, I don't know. <laughs> We'll go with what we got here. All right, then I'm gonna snip that guy. And last but not least, we're going to put our little hay chick on the front. Come on, there we go. Okay, now, there, oops. Got a little bit drunk. Come on, chicky. There we go. Okay, there we go. There's two. Awesome. Aren't they so cute? They are. I love how the ivory makes him stick out like that. All They're right. Adorable. We've got one more birth, not birthday. We've got one more regular, regular, regular chicken. Hey, chick time. card. Oh, I love the peeper behind there. That's so cute. Yes, I know. Right. I love this one. All righty. So let's go ahead. One more card. Look at this one. This one might be my favorite because I really kind of feel like th if I were a chicken, this would be what I looked like. Don't you guys think that? If I, if Barb Reed was a chicken, she would look a lot like this. So this is my favorite card that we're making this evening. And it's so easy and it uses so many of the fabulous die cuts that come with this set. All right, we're gonna start with a piece of Whisper White. No, I'm sorry, Basic White. I gotta learn to remember that we don't carry Whisper White anymore, it's Basic White. And the background piece that I'm using for this is from the Dandy Garden. There's some really, really cute papers that coordinate so nicely with this. This one has the light little dandelions on it. Really cute, perfect for this card. All right, now the next part, I'm going to bring in a strip of terracotta tile and a large stitch circle, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of my terracotta tile and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it right across near the bottom of the circle. Okay, I'm gonna have a little tiny bit that's gonna stick off the bottom there. I'm just gonna grab my paper snips and cut off that little portion there at the bottom. Okay, and then that piece, I'm gonna adhere right to the front of my card. Whoops. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Slide this in and there we go. There we have it. All right, now before we get to the chicken, let's take a look at some of the other little pieces 
that are available with, oops, well, that's guys. All right, here again, we use the chicken wire. I use this with crumb cake. Here is the cute little sign. Isn't that so cute? And while I'm talking about it, I'm going to grab my hay chick for the third time and see if I can get this on my sign. I guess it doesn't have to be perfectly straight to be on a sign. I mean, how straight can a chicken write, really? All right, so there we go. There's the sign. Now look at these. I made these with granny apple green. These are the little corn stalks. Are those not the cutest things you've ever seen? Isn't that adorable? Oh, Anne, I'm glad you love the card. Now look at these. You get the little, I guess these would be the shucks, okay, or the greenery that goes outside of your corn when it's on the stalk, and then you get these cute little corn cobs, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put a dot of glue at the base of each of these little corns, corn cobs. Then I'm going to pick up my little green part and then lay just lay it right on top of the cob. Isn't that adorable? I just can't stand it. So, so cute. Come on you, stay put. There's our little corns. Come on, this guy doesn't wanna stay. Come on you, up. Gonna have to use my fingers. There we go. All right, so now we've got our corn. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wait till I put my corn, my um, stalks on here before I position those. So let's go ahead and put our stalks on first. All right. I just put a couple little dots on the thicker parts of the leaves. Then I'm going to put it right here on the front of my card. Same thing with my second. Where I lived when growing up, we had a cornfield right behind our house and we played in the cornfield a lot. We'd make mazes, we'd make forts, and I love cornfields. As a kid, it was a lot of fun doing all kinds of adventures and things in the cornfield until this farmer came and that kind of ruined our fun, but oh well. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and put my second corn right here. So they're just gonna line up right here beside each other on the card. All right, now, oops, he wants to stick to my finger. There we go, that's better. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put my corn on the um, stalks. That's a little too much. I'm gonna put one there, one there, one here, one here. All right, now I'm gonna pick up my pick tool. I'm gonna grab a corn, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right in the glue section. And there we go. This one over here, I kind of um, alternated one one way, one the other, but it's all you, whatever you like. This one goes right there. And then my last one down here at the bottom. Be stuck to the table. There we go. So there is the corn in the field. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put our chicken wire in front of the corn. Okay. Let's go ahead and just put a few dots on. They're all replying to Linda. That's all right, Jean. I'm sure she doesn't mind. All right, 
Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay down my chicken wire right across the front of the card. Isn't that so cute? All right, last bit here, folks. I'm going to go ahead and put my Hey Chick sign on there with a dimensional. And that's going to be stuck in the garden over here. Oops back and didn't come off there we go all right now last of all I'm going to show you my chicken now I'm not going to color him because you've watched us color chickens all night but I will share with you the colors that I used for this chicken and this is I used light daffodil delight on my chicken's body and then outlined the chicken with a dark daffodil delight and then for his crazy hair, or her, I used pumpkin pie and real red. Pumpkin pie and real red, and then tail feathers, same thing. Pumpkin pie and real red. He has a crazy do. And then I used the light soft suede for his feet and his beak. So that is Barb Reed if she was a chicken. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of Barb Reed. And then the chicken goes right front and center in the garden, ready for action. So there is our third project with the Hey Chick Bundle. Alrighty, now when you receive your cards, you will have inside yours, you're a good egg. Okay, and this is just the little egg and the um, sentiment and the egg. I use the ivory to outline it and then little daffodil delight feet. So those are our three cards tonight. I hope you feel inspired to try to make some chicken cards on your own. Remember that if you buy either bundle from Dory or I, you will get your card kits for free this evening. So think about that if you are interested in buying either of the bundles. Let me see. I'm going to be back up here. I'm by myself right now. Dory had to leave. But I just want to share with you folks that if you buy either of the bundles, the Card kits are free, so let us know if you're interested. We're so thankful that you um, hung in with us and saw all our fun chicken projects. I hope you're as excited as of these bundles as we are. So take care, and we will see you next week at our Stamp of the Month event, which is the Snail Mail Bundle, which is another cute set. They just don't end, these Stampin' Up! catalog just has them all over the place so join us for snail mail next week and have a fabulous week and stay warm and let's hope this snow doesn't materialize take care have a good night